they were in that doll bar and them very important decisions was made under the influence of alcohol. And all the decisions that's wrong in this country is being made in this place here under the influence of alcohol. And then they're driving out through them gates in front of the guard of Chicana, pissed out the head and nothing being done. Nothing being done. And that, my people, has to be put a stop to. And I'm putting the guard out there that does be on the doll gates here on notice that if any patriot of Ireland or citizen of Ireland comes across any politician coming out there drunk and you have not stopped them, we will be looking for charges against the guard that lets that happen. As well as the charges against any politician that drives out with their drunk. Not only are they putting people's lives at risk on the street, but they've made decisions on your life in there under the influence of alcohol. The only job in the world where you can drink on the job, making decisions on their lives. We need to get on this and we need to get that bar shut and we need to get it shut now. Yeah. But one more very important thing I want to talk about. I came up on the up, come up on the laws, and I seen Paul Murphy. Oh, oh! In the middle of O'Connor Street, facing the GPO, we hadn't even got the girl to go over and stand there because he knows he would have been struck down by their forefathers. He's spouting out of his ugly mount. He's worried, people. He's worried about all you. He's worried about all you. And you know what he said? And I was standing and listening to him before I went around for the Lewis. The far right is getting too big! He's worried. He's very worried. Very worried. We need to take them down, he said. What do you say to that, people? Bring it on. Bring it on. We're Nazis. We're racist, whatever name you want to find in the book that can be derogatory, he called us it. But he's down in O'Collins Street spouting the filth out of his mouth. But they must be finished because the crusties made their way up here. He said the far right needs to be taken up his streets. Who streets? Hill Streets! I can't hear you! You got it there, our streets. Our streets, Paul Murphy! The Patriot Streets! Not the gravy train jumper streets! Our streets! You gotta make our streets! Our streets! And I want to tell you one more thing, people. It's not being allowed to stay on social media. But guess what? The wall got our hands on it and has it on our site. And I've been advised by everyone, D, don't put it on your site, they'll take your site down. But I couldn't. I had to take the risk. And it's two very short videos and I put it up two weeks ago. A little over two, no it is two weeks ago. The man that took the videos was deactivated immediately. And anyone that shared it for him was given 30 days ban. And if they put it, tried to put it back up. It, because you see, it was a video, it was a recording, so they couldn't deactivate it. So they came to me and gave, it, gave the two videos to me. And I put them up on my site. And anyone that hasn't went on to overdwall.com, go on to it and look at it. But be warned. It's not nice. It's two men, a lot of you here know about it. For those that don't know about it, Paul Murphy jumps on the bandwagon of every homeless protest that's gone for notoriety, and so does Mary No Nickers, Mary Lou. <laughs> Along with Hazel Show. The two of them are the image of one another, aren't they? Yeah. Except for the eyes. I wonder where Mary's daddy was then. Was he enjoying it? 
I was whole mommy over here. Oh, stop there, you're going to get into trouble. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, Mary Lou, no, I'm not. But this is very important, all jokes aside, people, seriously. These two men, homeless. Myself and the lady standing here took the dark, the Lewis, the bus everywhere the other day. The video busmen taking the law into their own hands and enforcing laws on people and abusing them on the buses. You see what happened at RTE, what they done to that poor girl. But they were warned that we were coming and with no mask, we were even like that up into the face, they still wouldn't say anything to us. It's this fucking thing gives me away, so they don't come near me. So I'm going to have to start linking someone getting on the bus. I don't need it for walking little places. If I'm standing for ages, I'm walking far I need it. But the reason we, when we got off that train, I sobbed my heart out looking over at the big roundy bend, the wheelie ones outside the shops. And about 30 years of age, getting under it out of the rain, a homeless guy. And people were giving him a sleeping bag, trying to reach under to give it to him. And the lady standing here will tell you, we sat down on that bench and I couldn't even go over and talk and we were sobbing. But if I was to bring that man home, I'd be bringing someone home every single night. I'd be throwing him in my own house. Yeah. But everyone here feels the same, but we know we can't. It's up to these bastards in here to sort them out. Yeah. But what I want to tell you about this is very, very important. And then I'll give whoever is next for the mic. But this is very, very, very important, people. These two videos were taken on O'Connell Bridge. Did any of you see it? Hands up who's seen the videos of O'Connell Bridge. Very few, very few. Right, I don't know if you've seen them on my stream or not. Yeah, yeah. So go on to overthewall.com and you'll see it. And you can hear the man speaking that's doing the recording. And he's saying, oh please God, let him be alive, let him be alive. Two young men, homeless men, saw no future for themselves in Ireland. There were two Irish men, but a lot of Polish and Latvians are doing this as well. They're getting treated the exact same as the Irish are treated. You see, because their skin is the same colour as ours. It seems to be housed by colour of skin now. But that's not the people of colour fault. That's the government's fault. But what I want to say about this is, the young man went over to the bridge to try and video them. And you can hear them on the video say, oh Jesus, please don't let them be dead, don't let them be dead. They saw no future for themselves in Ireland. And there was no future ever of a home of a roof over their heads. And they said, we can't do this anymore. How long are we waiting? We're never going to get home. They would have even settled for the provision center, but no provision center for the homeless on the streets of Ireland. Why? Why? I'm going to tell you why. Because the likes of Paul Murphy, people before profit, they're not asking for provision centers for the Irish on the streets. And the ones that have got hotels and provision centers are crying because they've no AC. <laughs> they've no air conditioning and they have to open the window a little bit to get air that night. Well, I answered him, I have someone that will transfer with you and he's on the canal in attention of all the fucking air you want. Four star hotel. Four star hotel and he's no AC. Well, let me tell you people, these two men were on that bridge and they said we're never going to get a home. This is our life. I don't want to live like this anymore. We've no chance of ever getting a home and people try to talk them out of it. Both of them together over into the river Libby, into the freezing cold water. This is only less than three weeks ago. Guess what people, how long it took them to die? Have you any idea how long it took them in them ice cold waters? Bang on. One of the lads said, he ran around to the side of the canal and he turned around and he said oh Jesus I think he's still alive a fella jumped in on that side on the O'Connell Street side like the GPO side and got a rope around his waist and into the water after him 
and you can see the rope trailing after and one man got in on that side and was holding one of them up. You could see it on the first video, the two of them floating in the water. This is only three weeks ago, people. This is not a hundred years ago we're talking about. We're talking about three weeks ago. The two of them is floating in the water, two Irishmen. And even if they're Latvian or Polish, it doesn't matter, they're two human beings. And he turned around and he said, oh, he has him, he has him, and then the other fella came in. It was like watching a bloody movie. He got a hold of the other fella, but he turned him around. And he screamed, oh my God, he's alive, he's alive. But you knew by the colour of his face. Now you can't identify him by his face because it's so far away. But you can see his face as he's turned around. And the colour of death was there. It took as that man just said there. He said he can't be dead. He's only 10 minutes in the water. That's what it took to sniff two lights at lives out here on these streets. 10 minutes. And you know what the worst thing is, people? And I got them over at RTE the other day, the mainstream media. Not one mainstream media put this up, wrote about it. It wasn't on RTE, it was nowhere, it was hidden. And anyone that tried to highlight it was deactivated on, on social media. Why? Why was it hidden? Why? Because they knew you would rise, that you would be angry. Is this acceptable? No. I can't hear you. No. I still can't hear you. No. You hear that of any of you cowards that are in there today, which I do. They're hiding out the convention centre and for one month, one month, the convention centre and this was lying empty because they couldn't sit far away from one another. That's how much they hate one another. <laughs> They, this was empty, this was empty, and they hired out the convention centre at the expense of every one of you here. 5,000 euro for one month while this was empty. Did you just know that, people? 5,000 euro. 5,000. And people out there are struggling, struggling. Oh, sorry, did I say 5,000? I apologise, 500,000. That was 125,000 a week. Well, this lay empty, I apologize for that. 500,000, 125,000 a week for the convention center, for them to sit down there drinking while you paid for all this. Oh, and by the way, you pay for their drink in the bar here too. And you're not allowed to even go to the fucking pub. So people, I'm going to ask you before I give up, before Chopper takes my hand off. I'm going to ask you people out there, next Saturday, and I'm asking you Chopper, I'm asking everybody. Next Saturday, can I just have everyone's attention for this one last part. Next Saturday, GPO one o'clock, and we're at the Alderton, and the man is down at my car now, he has it. We're at the Alderton, a big rate. And we are going to go from the GPO up to O'Connor Bridge where them men threw the cells over and we're going to do a three minute silence and a memorial there to all who committed suicide. <laughs> Myself, Gemma, Niall, Niall McConnell, the Patriot, and many more, and John Waters, we're all going to be there. Now I'm not sure about John, I'm not 100% on that. But we're all going to be there on O'Connell Bridge next Saturday. At one o'clock, we're going from the GPO marching down. And try colours, please! Yeah. Ireland flags and try colours, Republic of Ireland, try colours! We want to see you try colours on O'Connor Street next Saturday. I'd love to see that street right down for our patriots that gave our lives up for us to be able to stand here and fight today. We wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for them. So let's show them some respect next Saturday, people. One o'clock, the GPO, next Saturday. Three minutes silence for the men that went into the Liffey that see no future of a home here for themselves in Ireland. No roof over the Irish's head. The Latvians and the Polish are treated the exact same as the Irish. 
We need to do this next Saturday. Nobody has mentioned them. Not one of the parties. Solidarity, Paul Murphy, Jim Fain, people before Prophet that's down there like Braid Bra 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 Smith with a bandana on her and a fucking mask. We don't need the likes of them anywhere near us, but we need you, the genuine patriots that love Ireland. So please, everybody next Saturday, one o'clock, GPO, thank you. Yeah.